This candle tour was a surprise from a very special person in my heart and he surprised me with this candle tour which I love so much. If anyone knows me, knows how much I loved and this is one of my favorite candle companies and I was brought here for just a nice candle tour, um, learning more about these candles. They sell candles, diffusers, soap, lip balm and yeah i think i've said everything yes yeah, so um let's just enjoy what they are showing and giving us today the aesthetic is so so beautiful like i can't even explain so basically this side over here has a lot of highland fragrances which means that if you go to the scottish island highland sorry you're going to smell this exotic exotic um smells and that is what has been changed into these candles so they're very different types with the color they come with different um scents so you can see over there they're all highland candles they have really they're very very fresh like I, I wish you guys could smell them because they are so beautiful this is a soy wax company and the cold throw let me tell you guys is so so good it's it's really good like before you even <laughs> come close or even open it it's just so freaking good yeah okay so it's big or if you want i could swap the split thing out yeah pick what you want now and then put it in yeah enjoy the dance there So over here they have other different types of fragrances they have mango this is more fruity they have citrus then on this other side which i told you about was the soaps the lip balms which are so cute look at that packaging like you know i really like things that take a lot of time to do good packaging because it's an extra touch you know and that feels really good that feels really good it's a good marketing strategy Oh yes, they also have hand sanitizers, you know, with this coronavirus thing, you know. So look at those flavors, lavender, lemongrass. Then this other side is mainly just fragrances to, you know, compete with the market. So these are just like the basic ones. Like these are not literally their main, their main like um, signature fragrances. But like they still have, you know, you always have to have fragrances which you compete with in the market. So those are mainly diffusers on the top and then at the bottom are the candles then here they had an offer two small tumblers for 25 pounds which is really good for a soy wax candle and their burn time is like really 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 good their cold throw is amazing and i love that they have a wide wide widest variety of choices to choose from So just enjoy the aesthetic of this place because it's really really one place that is so so calming to be in then also another thing to note um i think in the beginning of the video of this candle tour there was like a packaging which you saw which had like two candles and um and one diffuser so that's the gift which i was uh bought for 
and you know you can choose your own different candles and like just package your own type of of a gift package so you can choose any diffuser you want and any two candles you want and that box goes for 40 pounds which is a steal for that price so for people who love harry potter this is the inspiration of diagon alley I hope it's clear so that like you can see so all this place is just so witchy and <laughs> i really don't know how to explain it but like if you go to the stores you'll see all this um witchery crafts um merchandise all that kind of thing and so this is where jk rowling got the inspiration of diagon alley from So you can follow the great wizard uh, the great wizard on their social media handles which are just tagged on this video Like please just give this a uh, shakiness because <laughs> well um my camera person is still learning how to do this <laughs> but we appreciate we appreciate so after this we went down for lunch at the ivy in edinburgh oh my goodness this place is so so beautiful it's really good the food is amazing i actually do love their breakfast i've been here once for a breakfast and it was so filling i had i think an english breakfast and it was really really good so of course you know keeping the social distancing was a must during this time so i had rice and some steak the same with him we have steak and um rice because we really take steak in scotland because <laughs> i'm not such a fan of their meat though then for dinner i have this tiramisu which was oh i think the best which i've taken apart from um to macaroni yes this is really good it's really really filling down below what you think about these designs because i am a lover for interior design and i think this one they want the ivy is such a really good place which i definitely definitely recommend then i told them it was my birthday so they gave me a complimentary dessert which was so nice and thoughtful with one candle on top wow <laughs> So one thing which I really love about the train rides in Scotland is the scenery. The scenery, I think this does not even do any justice, but like uh, I'll really try and like get better pictures. But this place is, the scenery is just breathtaking. I believe like they really have really, really, really good scenery. And especially during the summer. <laughs> in winter you can't see anything because it's very, very foggy.
So this is the candle which I got from the Isle of Sky Candle Company. The packaging is amazing. So I just lit it up. This was about maybe um maybe 30 minutes since I burnt it. So I was still waiting for it to get a full melt pool and it was doing good. But then at some point later on i'll try and get the video i thought that probably they would have wicked down i think probably then it would not be flickering too much so i that's just my personal opinion i feel like if they would have gone like a week lower it would be a bit more stable but otherwise the cold throw was good in the shop the hot throw was also good this was the citrus candle which i got and of course you just know with the soy wax candles you get a lot of frosting that is frosting over there but that's that's normal that's something which soy wax candles always do and it's very normal so if you see a soy wax candle that has something like that it's just the nature of the wax like there's really nothing much you can do about it it's just how the wax works you know then there was a bit of some mushrooming over there on top but anyway that was my birthday vlog Thank you so much for watching this video until this point. Make sure you to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!